Okay, so in this video, I just want to give an example of, um, of how you can sketch a vector field. Okay, so the vector field that we have here is f of xy is equal to minus yx. So this means that every point in the xy plane, at the point xy, we just sketch the vector or we just draw the vector minus yx. So I'm going to do this by looking at a few uh, kind of easy points, easy sample points to help, get us an, uh, to help give us an idea of what the vector field is going to look like. So I'm going to start here at uh, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. Let me do some side work over here. f of 1, 0 is equal, well, the first component is going to be minus the second component. So this is minus 0, which is, of course, just 0. And then the second component is, uh, the x com is x, so this is 1. So what this means is at the point 1, 0, I draw the vector 0, 1. OK, so what this says, again, pictorially, what this says is that at the point 1, 0, f of 1, 0 is equal to this vector right here. OK, and so now I'm going to come over to y is equal to 1 and x is equal to 0. So this is the point 0, 1. And if I come over here and do some scratch work, this is f of 0, 1 equals, well, the first component is minus y. So y is equal to 1. So this is minus 1. And the second component is x, which is 0. So this means at the point 0, 1, I draw the vector minus 1, 0. And the vector minus 1, 0 is just a unit vector pointing to the left like this. And of course, uh, this is not going to be at a perfect scale, but I'm going to try to do my best. OK, and now if I look at the point minus 1, 0. So this is the point minus 1, 0. If I look at this point, then if I evaluate the vector field at that point, this is f of minus 1, 0. The first component is minus y. The second component is x. y is equal to 0. So the first component is 0. The second component is minus 1. So at the point minus 1, 0, I draw the vector 0, minus 1, which is just a downward pointing unit vector. So it's going to be something like this. OK. And finally, or not finally, but finally for this round of points, I'm going to look on the negative y-axis. So this is going to be x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 1. And now I plug in f of 0 minus 1. The first component is going to be minus y. y is equal to minus 1. So it means that the first component is going to be 1. And the second component is x is going to be 0. So this is, this is just a rightward pointing unit vector. So we get something like this. OK, and then uh, we can kind of get an idea at this point about what's going on. So now I'm going to come over here. I don't even, I don't even need to, to do these calculations over here. But if I come over here to where, let's say, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 0, this is going to be an upward pointing vector that has length 2. All right, and then if I come over here to this point where x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2, this is going to be a leftward pointing vector of length 2, so like this. OK, and if I come down here to this point where, let's say, x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 0, this is going to be a downward pointing vector of, uh, of two units, of length two. OK, and then lastly, for this round of points, if I come over here to this point where x is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 2, this is going to be a rightward pointing vector of two units. OK, and so the farther you go along the x-axis, for example, the farther you go along the x-axis to the right, you're going to get vectors that are pointing up, and they're going to be longer and longer and longer. And the farther you go up the positive y-axis, you're going to get vectors that are pointing to the left, and they're going to be longer and longer and longer. And similarly, the closer you go in to the origin here, you're going to have vectors that point up here, but are going to be short. Vectors that point to the left on the, from the y-axis, but are going to be short. 
something like this. Okay, so if, for example, this vector field represented um, the flow of water in some in the plane, for example, then this would say that the water is rotating counterclockwise. Now, one way that we can uh, see that, so let me, I actually have this graphed in Desmos. One way that we can see this in Desmos is with this vector field generator. So over here, we see that the first component is minus y, the second component is x, and this is exactly what we get here. So this vector right here is the vector uh, at x is equal to one and y is equal to zero, it's pointing up. This is the vector at uh, y is equal to one and x is equal to zero, it's pointing left, and so on and so forth. Okay, and if we zoom out, we sort of get this swirling pattern. So again, if this represented the, um, if, this repre if this represented something like the velocity of water, if these arrows were the, if these vectors represented the velocity of water, this would say that the water is going in a counterclockwise direction. And as you go farther and farther away from the origin, the, uh, the water is spinning faster and faster. Okay. So um, that's all that I have for today. I hope that was uh, a good example. But the thing to keep in mind is that whenever you want to draw a vector field or whenever you want to sketch a vector field, at every point x, y in the plane, you just draw what this vector should be. So at the point 1, 0, f of 1, 0 is equal to 0, 1. So we drew that vector. At the point 0, 1, f of 0, 1 is equal to minus 1, 0. So we drew that vector, so on and so forth. All right. Thank you.